Hello everyone, my name is Beef and welcome back to another video. Today we have something that's been requested a few times in the comments of my previous video, and that is Azuma's Witch Farm from Hermitcraft Season 7. And as you can see, based on what's behind me, we do in fact have that witch farm. Now, I don't know if we'll get through this whole thing today, depending on how long it takes to record, because there's two large portions of this farm and it's honestly a pretty big farm but hopefully we'll get through it all today if not there will be a part two but this is like all my other videos in the 1.16 pre-release the most recent one which it happens to be pre-release six so hopefully 1.16 will just come out soon there's six pre-releases now and i can confirm this does work in the pre-release as you can see there are plenty of witches here and this farm doesn't require very much spawn proofing. It requires very minimal, which is helpful. And it's not terribly hard to build. I mean, the bottom portion is a little bit hard, some parts of it, but that's why I'm here to make a tutorial on it. So let's go ahead and get started. So here's a new witch farm, and you're gonna wanna start out with some glazed terracotta. And so what you're gonna wanna do first is go down to the water level, just whatever level water is at. So that would be 62. And you're going to want to make a uh, 9 by 7 rectangle out of uh, glazed terracotta. And so it basically should just be the entire dimensions of the witch farm. So that's 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Yeah, that's 9. And then over here, you're going to need to have it come out like this so that it should equal... Oops, I actually didn't make it come out far enough this way. So it includes the overhangs of the roof, just in case you're wondering. And... See, that is a 7. So, 9 by 7, you're going to make a platform. You're going to have to destroy the witch hut in the process of doing this. And just basically clear it out. And every two blocks, you are going to make a platform. And when you're done, you should end up with three platforms, 9 by 7, of glazed terracotta. And the final third layer goes technically one block above the roof. But that's fine because it's still in the spawning area of the witch farm. And so, once you have... All the witch farm basically just destroyed except for maybe a few of the posts. There might be a little bit of wood left. Yeah, there's like a tiny bit. Um, you should have three completely filled in platforms and no more witch hut. <laughs> Alright, there you go. You should have a, something that looks like this. Now we're going to take some smooth stone and smooth stone slabs. And we need to just fill in the long sides out with two blocks like this. Alright, you should end up with something that looks like this and just do this on the bottom. You don't have to do that on the upper two levels. Now you're going to bring these out by three additional blocks, just three blocks longer, and just fill it in like this so that there's a two block gap here. And same over here, you might have to destroy a bit of the area around it, which is fine like that. And make sure that you have this go down an additional block. You don't want to leave the dirt or water or anything like that in there. Okay, so there is uh, some water over here. Which means you're just going to want to get rid of any and all water that is inside this 2x7 uh, block area. And the best way to do that would just be with some sponge or sand, depending on what you have available. Alright, dig this down over here. If it's not already two blocks deep, you're going to want to make it two blocks deep just like that. And just run one line of slabs all the way around the outside of this ring here. So, just like this, you're going to need to break some more blocks again which we had to do before to paint on where you do is if it's already in the water it's a little bit easier but that does mean more water that has to be drained also it does not matter if some of these slabs are waterlogged that does not affect anything but now on the long ends you're going to want to bring the slabs out an additional two blocks just on the ends that are longer like the um the nine block long sides all right you should end up with something that looks like this when you're all done and this is the platform for where you're going to build the rest of this farm stuff on. And now we need to start working on some of the flying machines that make this farm work. Okay, you're going to need to pick one of the longer sides to start with this on. And you're going to want to take some blocks and actually, well, just use slabs. You don't have to use slabs, but it's a little bit easier to tell various portions of this for the sake of this tutorial. So then you're going to want to take an observer and have it facing in this direction. And behind it, you're going to need to have a repeater set to the max stick setting like that. And then you're going to want to put a furnace back there. And over on this side, uh, I don't have any redstone dust. You're going to need to take some dust, put it like that, and then put a dropper 
right there. And this is the basis for where the flying machines will that the sweep all the witches will hit this side and then they'll go back the other way. They'll reset. Now you're going to need to take some slabs and just put slabs on top of all of this here. Just make it one block tall or one slab tall for the start. And then you're going to need to put an additional three slabs or you can also make this just two blocks so that there should be four slabs stacked on top of each other. And now you're going to need to put some slabs out like this and a slab out like that. Put another observer there and then you're going to put some more redstone there. Put a furnace over there. Uh, let's get another repeater, put it right there. This is just a copy of the one below it, and there's going to be three of these, one for each of the flying machine areas. And once again, you're going to cover it all with slabs, and you're going to then build up just these three areas here, an additional four. Uh, put some more slabs there, and just repeat the same thing again. Okay, there you go. You should just have three of these stacked on top of each other like that. And then up here, you're going to want to put two slabs, or you can just put a block on top of all of these like that. And you should just have a covering up there. Now we need to work on the actual flying machine launching systems over here. Okay, so right here, start with some slabs or a block like that, and put a furnace behind it. And then you're going to need to put some more slabs here, and put an observer facing in that direction like that. And you're going to want here to put... Uh, repeaters set to the max tick setting just like that and over and back here you're gonna need some more slabs and you're going to need to put a furnace right there and now you need to have an observer facing uh, in this direction right there and then back here you're gonna want to put an additional slab out here and put some redstone dust on top of that Okay, now you're going to need some slabs on top of the observer and then that repeater and then slabs over here and these need to be brought up, let's see, so that there's a total of four of them like that and then you're going to need to put another furnace there and then you're going to need a slab up there. Put a repeater facing in that direction and set to the max tick setting, put an observer facing that way there and an observer facing that way over there and then put a furnace behind that. And you're going to need to put another slab right there and put some more redstone on top. And basically, this is similar to that where it's the same thing repeated three times. So you're just going to need to build all these slabs up again just like that and make a third layer. Okay, now you can also put some extra slabs right there if you want, but you don't have to put anything on them. And now we need to add some more stuff back here, some slime block stuff. Okay, now you're going to need to put some slabs or blocks up there like that, and then put some additional ones over there. And you can also put another slab out like that. But here you're going to need some furnaces, and if you just want to hide them, come on, you can just make them face into each other like that. And now, from these furnaces, you're going to want to come out just a block diagonally like that, and you're going to put a lever on top of it. Then underneath, you're going to put a sticky piston, and now you're going to need some slime blocks. And you're just going to run slime, uh, let's see, all the way down like that. Did I do that correctly? Okay, I might have messed something up. Hang on a sec. Okay, actually, I just realized I built these slabs one block over in the wrong place. And that you actually need to move them over like that. And these uh, repeaters need to be facing in that direction like that that's my bad uh, I was wondering why I was getting confused so there we go you're still gonna want to have the redstone dust on top of them like that and you're just gonna need to turn the repeaters that way sorry about that and let's see now if we go ahead and we put some uh, let's see and that means shifting this thing over one block as well because that was determined based on that slab. So this thing needs to be shifted over one block. And there we go, that's better. Now you're gonna need to put some redstone right there, some, well, a redstone block there, a redstone block there, and come down an additional block. You're gonna wanna clear out any blocks that might be in the way like that. And put some redstone right here. Then in the middle, you're gonna need to put four furnaces like this, and that is to stop the slime blocks from pulling anything and it just gives them like stuff in the back so now if you push that forward and back it will activate those various things over there and that's the method for turning the farm on and off now let's go ahead and actually build up those slime machines so you're going to want to put a sticky piston here 
and then you're going to need uh, some slime and right there you're going to need another sticky piston over there and you're going to need an observer that's facing that way and then if you put slime in a big row like that that's one flying machine fully completed so if we flip that you'll see that it gets sent off and then retract that because when it's off it's actually that's the way that makes it go continuously so if you toggle this on it will halt the flying machine when it gets back to this side as you'll see in a second yep see it stopped there and now you just need to build two more of these things on each of the other levels all right all the flying machines are in place so let's toggle this back and you'll see that all of them get sent off at the same time and they'll all remain in sync as long as like nothing lags or no tick updates and various things like that that can sometimes make them get out of sync or stop and you'll just have to either rebuild them or just turn the farm off to correct them if it matters or is affecting anything but now if you want to leave it running you just leave this toggled off but if you want to stop it just turn it on like that and when it gets back it'll just remain docked here and now comes a tedious part of this farm because you're going to need to build blocks or slabs up here like this you're going to need to build a tower of them so that it's one block higher than the flying machines and you're going to need to put signs literally starting from down here all the way up and across to that side to hold back water so this might take a minute to do more like five minutes so uh just you get the idea i'm gonna go ahead and do this and i'll show you when it's done also you have to do the same thing on this side so just be prepared for that to, and be prepared with a lot of signs okay that's all the signs in place and as you can see it's on both sides this side is a little bit easier to do because you can walk in here and then place it from that but now we can go ahead and start building up some walls so you're going to need some leaves and so let's just take oak and on this side right here where none of that stuff is just place two leaf blocks and you then can just place a normal block that or slabs that aren't leaves but then you have to have leaves again and just repeat that three times till you get to the top and once you're at the top just put a final layer up here like that and now over here is a little bit different you're gonna need to put some leaves like this it's basically just two blocks wide and one block tall on the floor and then you're gonna need to put another layer of them above here where these flying machines go so basically you encase the area that the flying machines uh fly through with leaves so that they can't pull anything else and the witches can't escape all right now you can go ahead and fill in the entire roof of this thing with leaves and a border like that also this leaf um coming out an additional block like that just fine it's supposed to be like that so just fill this top portion in with leaves okay now what you can do over here is build up um a tower corner of blocks or slabs like that and then you can take some glass and put it just like this two blocks tall and then you can have two blocks of just um non-glass or something else or slabs just to make it different you don't necessarily have to do that but just like since that's what it is around the rest of the farm, if you care about how it looks. If you don't, you don't even need to use glass, but it does make it helpful when looking at it from the outside to see if stuff is working correctly. So I would kind of advise the glass. And over here, you're going to want to bring this up just like that. But once you get to this layer, leave this open because this is going to be for something else. And you're going to need to do the same thing that we just did over there on this side. So let me just do that and I'll show you once it's done. Okay, now over on these ends here where we left it open, you're going to want to make a 3x4 platform coming out like that on each side. So just do that over here. And now what you're going to want to do is come out an additional 3 blocks like this. But also you're going to make it technically 4 so that it comes out, um, let's see. So you basically end up with a pattern that looks like this. So here is 4 and then here is 4 over here and you're going to want to do the same thing on this side and then have this drop down either well i guess that would be a block or two additional slabs and then just make a platform right here and it should be basically uh what is that that's seven blocks long and now you're going to put some blue ice there some blue ice there and uh here is where soul sand is going to go eventually but because we have to put water and then like fill the water with kelp and you can't place kelp on soul sand just leave that empty and like it is for now 
but you're gonna then want to take some slabs and just go up uh, two blocks total or just four slabs like that at these corner areas and now you can fill this in with some glass as well all right there you go now we have just sort of um, hallway walkway well it's not gonna be walking for long because we're gonna fill it with water but first you're gonna need to bring it up all of it one additional block so that it is the same level as the rest of this farm then we're gonna add some water and then we need to build the actual like big roof that spawn proofs the area then we're gonna build the big roof that makes the area dark so that stuff can spawn and then that's basically the first half of this farm completed but now let's go ahead and go over here uh, where did my signs go okay so what you're gonna need to do is put a sign here just run signs on this block all the way down and then put some water right there so that it flows that direction and now you need to break all these signs so that the water flows down and then you're gonna use some kelp and turn all of these blocks down here into water source blocks by filling it with kelp so that you can then place some stole sand down there to create bubble columns all right once all your kelp is there just go ahead and break all of it and then I get some soul sand and I don't have any soul sand soul sand and then replace these dirt blocks or whatever it is here with the soul sand and now it'll be bubble columns and all mobs and in this case witches will get pushed this direction now you're going to take some fence gates and just put four of them like that and open them. Make sure they're on top of the blue ice. And then you can go ahead and put a sign right here and a sign there. Then put some water right in that space so that uh, the mobs will continue to be pushed by this continuous water stream. And you're going to have to do the same thing over here with the kelp and everything that you did on this side. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that and I'll show you once it's done. Alright, both of these sides are now mirror images of each other and they both have everything built in them that is required and now all that we're missing on the bottom portion of this farm is the gigantic roof which admittedly does take a little while to build but yeah so um let's see how to start with this thing to begin with so actually let's go ahead and just start by covering all of the existing um bits of this farm in slabs so like just all the way around you're gonna need to then extend the roof but it's easier to build the rest of the roof once you just have once you already have a place of um reference to start building it oh it sounds complicated it'll make sense when i show you there you go you should have a completely covered farm now except for three blocks here where the witches are going to be coming up from the farm and going to the second portion of this now we got to build the big uh somewhat diamond shaped i guess roof over this thing so let's take a look at this farm that I already have completely built and we can use this lever here as a reference on how to build this thing it looks like what you want to do is start by just building some slabs out to this lever then putting okay well if I can come on there we go uh, let's just turn this off for now and then you're gonna need to come out starting with this block five blocks so that's five and then you're gonna need to come out this block uh, one more direction and then here is where one of the edges of this diamond is so I'm pretty sure this edge is seven I'll have to check that but for now start with seven blocks let me go make sure that's correct yes this is indeed seven blocks but now what you have to do is you have to go um, an additional 13 blocks diagonally in this direction so that's two uh, three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and then one additional block and then it's going to be nine blocks along here so that's three six nine and now you need to have an additional thirteen out in this direction though so that's three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and then come out one more block and just make it seven blocks long you did this right this should line up perfectly with this here and it does so we did indeed build this right basically it's going to be another 13 blocks in this direction diagonally and then it's going to be nine again so let's go ahead and do that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen let's see nine that's nine that lines up good so one two three four five six 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Excellent. This is the border that you should have for your farm. And now all you have to do is fill the entire thing in with slabs, which takes a decent amount of time. Wow. Okay. So this thing is completely filled in now, which means it has the capability to spawn witches in there. So let's go ahead and give this thing a test. What is that light? Oh, right. It's from this. And the way that this light doesn't become a problem is that you build up more blocks before you make a glass around here. So that doesn't become a problem. So let's go ahead and turn this farm on. Let's set it to night because it's not fully done yet. And if we go up pretty high up and then run this command, where is it? Uh, oh my, how far? You know what? Let's just do, you can do, this is a good way to test it. If you have cheats enabled, you can do effect give at e um, type equals which and and then just give them glowing and as you can see then it shows you where they are and so currently there's one witch right there there's still two witches one of them being over there somewhere let's see if we go up higher now there's more witches down there there's a total of four in the farm now there's five in the farm and you'll notice that the higher you go up the more that are likely to be there depending on how high you go and how many mobs are already loaded so ah uh, yes now there's seven as you can see there's a lot of them spawning in there which means it's working correctly also you'll notice that they are all slowly getting funneled right into this area and sometimes the witches will um let's see game mode spec sometimes they'll sit down here for a sec but that doesn't really matter because they eventually pathfind after not that long over into the water and so um future me here i just got done recording and editing and i realized that if i were to show this entire farm in one episode it would probably be like 50 minutes long or more which is way too long for a tutorial so i actually am gonna have to break this up into two parts two different episodes the next episode will be coming out on thursday but that right there is the end of part one uh, if you enjoyed this and found it informative, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe with notifications on so as not to miss out on new videos and the second portion of this. But once again, I've been Speef, and I will see you guys in the next video, which is part two of this on Thursday. Bye!